Hi guys and welcome to another one. This one is going to be a crystal and metamatagoid. So hang tight for this. I'm not going to show you but I think you guys already know if you're going into geode caves and you're crystal hunting always take Thumper with you because it reveals hidden crystals and you get a lot more crystals by picking up them hidden ones and the, gl and the glowing ones. Next is crystal piñatas. You get these from opening lesser caches, which you get for helping the critters down there, feeding them and all the rest of it. You can also buy them off the store. wouldn't recommend that because it gets really expensive. Or you can buy them off the marketplace, of course, but they are expensive on there as well. But anyway, throwing them, if you're going to throw a lot of them, use the crystal potion, which gives you more crystals. And you can get as many as you can through that. There, real, there is also another way to crystal farm. Let's go and show you. Now here is the Forever Home Finder. Loot all your companions that you don't need. You'll get 200 flux for all the common ones. Rare ones, you'll get 10,000. And uncommon ones you'll get 1500 but I will just quickly show you something that can increase this li a little bit so if we go to the Christology workbench let's just get over here and go into Dabla go down here and the bond crystallizer make three of these for each of the uncommon and rare ones that you're going to be getting rid of and go to the companion trainer level them to level three don't go any higher than level three because you'll start wasting uh, your crystals because you'll have to put a lot more bond crystallizers into it if you know what i mean i think after level three going to level four you'll have to put three bond crystallizers so it does get a little little bit expensive and you don't get much in return i'll show you what i'm talking about here i have already leveled a rare to level three so i've spent 720 crystals getting him to level three plus a few little bits of mats and i, I could loot this now for fifteen thousand. So there's a gain of 4,280 on this one compared with looting it when it's level 1. Like I says, don't go much further than level uh, 3 because you start wasting your crystals. So do bear that in mind. And the uncommon ones, you get 1,500. And I've leveled one somewhere that's level 3. And this one's level 3, and you can loot collect it for 4,200. So that's a gain of 2,300 crystals. So that's what you should be doing in this. Like I said, all these common ones, don't level these up, because you'll spend 720 crystals making the bond crystallizers. And when you level these up, I think at level 3 you'll get about... 600 back so you'll have actually lost crystals doing that so don't level these up just loot them and we'll get on to meta matter so let's just pop on over there so meta matter the only way that you're going to get meta matter here is if you buy requilleries now to me, I would never buy a glowing or a shimmering requillery because you've got a really rare chance of getting any meta matter out of this. Because you know how to get a few more crystals now, I would definitely go for the luminous. The only reason why I'd go for luminous is you've got a really better chance of getting multiple meta matter out of these. So I know it seems like a lot when you buy this and then you have to put it into the revealer and then put a load star on it but if you really need that meta matter it is the only guaranteed way of getting it 
there is only one other method and if we drop down to the next level to go in the christology workbench if you go if you've leveled all the way to the top here like i have the only other guaranteed way that to get meta matter is to craft this now it is the meta matter manifesto the only downside to this is as you can see there is you've got to put 10 meta matter into it before you can craft it now this makes it you've got to grind this tone for three weeks before you get any meta matter back but after that if you've if you're thinking about grinding this tone for months and months and months it is the best thing to get plus it's also mastery but like i said you've got to put 10 matter meta matter into this to get what is it four back yeah you want to get him four back so it's up to you guys whether you get it like i said the best way to get it is do the luminous ones i know you're putting four thousand crystals into it and the load star as well but if you you can get like i think the most i've had out of a luminous was seven or eight which is quite good in getting that out of uh, a luminous requillery anyway guys if this short guide has helped you in any way whatsoever please think about giving it a thumbs up and as always guys i will see you in the next one take care everybody Thank you.